Colon Cancer Statistics, a Gapminder video with Hans Rosling. Colon Cancer Statistics shows that the richer a country is, the higher the risk to get this type of cancer. Look at the graph. The horizontal axis is rich in this direction, poor in that direction. And each bubble is a country, the size is population, color is continent. And the vertical axis here shows the number of cases of colon and rectum cancer per 100,000 male population. And look, China is here, Russia is here, United States is here. Means that it just increased the risk. And let me show you uh, Norway here. Norway has quite high occurrence of colon cancer. And how was it historically? I go backwards with Norway, more than 50 years, to 1953. Uh, the country had much less cancer, only 16 cases per 100,000 population. And this is what happened. As Norway grew richer and richer, there were more and more colon cancer. And today you can see that the historical path of Norway fits to the pattern of the whole world. The only exception is some of the Arab countries in the Middle East down here. They seem to have less cancer, although they are rich, but they also grow rich very recently. And they need to follow the cancer statistic for some year to know if it's also going to increase in these countries. Now, what is the difference between this cancer in men and women? I'll keep the mark on Norway, but I changed this horizontal axis to be uh, the occurrence of this cancer form in women. It's very similar in men and women, eh? very similar. And this means that it strengthened the hypothesis that it's mainly the diet that causes this. Men and women mostly eat together. Eh? And uh, it gets more common also for women when the country grow rich. Now, Take away Norway here, and I would like on this vertical axis now to show how is the proportion of women dying from this cancer. And here you can see. The interesting pattern is as countries go, grow richer, more and more are dying until a certain point when it flattens out. Because even if you can see Australia here has much higher occurrence of this cancer compared to Russia. There are not more women dying from it. This means that the richest countries now have an ability to screen for colon and rectum cancer, to detect it early, and to cure around half of the cases. But it's still a very severe cancer in the world. And even the richest countries have not found a way of getting a diet or a lifestyle that protect against this cancer.